Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Capgemini and if you don't know what to prepare, how to prepare and what are the real questions they are asking in these days, so this video is for you. Now let me discuss about the latest questions and you must know that there will be total two coding questions, one will be easy and second one will be medium to difficult level and very honestly the cutoff is if you are performing well in the game based aptitude and the technical part technical mcq then if you solved only one coding questions at least then there will be 100 percent chance to get the next round mail that is for is assessment and the interview mail so please try to solve these coding questions which i'm going to share in this video so let me just share that the question is guys just before that if you have not subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe and watch the playlist regarding any computer you want and let me know which content you want more if you have any queries then post that i'll make more videos on those okay hey you ready for the future tech no uf is here with premium prep materials no need to fear cognizant accenture tcs and more we'll get you ready open up that door so the question is you are given a number in the number of balls alice has he wants to distribute these balls to x person such that he utilizes the maximum available balls to distribute the balls he follows the uh, pattern that he will give one ball to the first person two balls to the second person three balls to the third person and so on your task is to find x such that he utilizes the maximum possible available balls now info format output format are provided below now the question is clear what you have to do let's say there is three is the output okay you are given a number in the number of balls alicia has this is the number of balls alicia has you have to distribute these balls in such a way like first person gets uh, one ball second person gets two balls third person get three balls this way you have to maximize the number of persons how uh, like to how many persons you can give the balls and the maximum number you have to return okay maximum number of person you have to return so now first person gets one ball second person gets two balls and the balls are utilized okay and maximum number of person possible in this case is three so that's why total sorry two so that's why 2 is the output in this case. I hope you understood. Now, let's say the sample input is 1. Okay, in this case, the sample output will be 1. Why? Because you can give 1 ball to 1 person only. Okay. Now, if I get, uh, let's say, second, third example, 156 people are present. Now, to how many person you can give the ball? Let's say, for f first person get 1 ball, second person 2, third person 3, Four person four, five person five, six, seven, eight. This way, if you give the balls in such a way, then total seventeen people you can give the balls. Okay, and how to calculate the how to calculate the maximum numbers? That is, uh, let's say seventeen. So seventeen into seventeen plus one by two. That is n into n plus one by two. 7 plus 1 is 18 18 by 2 is 9 so 17 into 9 is equal to 153 right so 153 is the maximum number right so uh, the maximum number of chocolates you can uh, chocolates or balls you can utilize right so 17 people can be maximum people you can distribute the ball in such a way right so i hope you want to know how we got this number 17 we will just find the number from 1 to n okay and how to find the best approach to find the number of maximum persons uh, by binary search we'll go to that code directly and we'll discuss how we can find that okay now let me discuss that in the compiler just before that guys if you have not gone through the premium materials of capgemini in which you will get all the recent and updated coding questions it fundamentals coding questions essay writing mock test game based aptitude as far assessment and interview questions you can see the number of questions you can get from each uh, each sections all are updated and it will get updated every day and please have that before the exams gone okay 
i hope you will do also purchase this because more than 1000 people have purchased this and got success so the link is provided in the description box or in the comment section top mate dot as slash techno underscore uf please go through that let me start with the java solutions and guys one questions i always get from you that uh is cpp allowed is python allowed guys very honestly for all the coding exam if you know java and python or cpp you must know java along with that python or cpp so that you can get at least one common coding questions to write okay because sometimes python is not allowed sometimes cpp not allowed but java is always allowed so please try to maintain this uh, like knowledge okay get java full knowledge then python or cpp okay i hope you understood now uh in this case actually i got feedback from students that cpp not allowed and please check it carefully and go through the instructions okay now in this case let's say n is equal to 156 low is equal to 1 at first initialized high is equal to what that is uh math dot sq uh, square root 2 into n that is 3 1 2 plus 5 so 3 7 10 is the uh, sorry 3 1 2 root over 3 3 1 2 plus 5 so it will become almost 17 plus 5 so it will become 20 okay nearly equal to 22 now answer is equal to 1 it is also initialized which will return at the end that is the maximum value maximum person we can distribute okay now we will run a while loop low until or unless low is less than equal to high low is 1 and high is equal to this value what is the value that is uh we already shown you that uh the mid value at least you can guess like above this number we cannot get above this number we cannot get okay uh, the maximum person will lie between one to this number okay now long is equal to long mid is equal to low plus high minus low by two how we are getting mid value guys here we are adding low value but in python there is a uh, double slash operator using this we get uh, integer number right so that's why there will not use this low plus to get the mid we have to add one right for let's say six uh, if we are just adding uh, one then we'll get the mid value okay for seven also if we are just adding one then we'll get the mid value actual mid value okay so now <clears throat> sorry so high is equal to 22 and low is equal to 1 plus high minus low that is 22 minus 1 21 by 2 that is 10.5 let's just assume 10 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 okay so now 11 into 11 into 11 plus 1 by 2 that is 6 into 11 that is 66 new sum that is the total uh, is equal to 66 as uh, like as long as this 66 value is less than or equal to the n that is 156 we will keep increasing this lower value okay so that is uh so it it is uh, relying in our condition so answer will be now equal to the mid value that is 11 11 and lower value will be mid plus one that is mid was 11 so lower value will be now 12 okay now in the next iteration still low is less than equal to high okay low low means uh low was uh, like now 12 and high is still the same that is 22 now the new mid will be equal to low that is 12 plus high minus low that is high is equal to 22 minus 12 that is 10 by 2 that is uh, 5 12 plus 5 is equal to 17 okay so 17 new mid value is 17 okay so now 17 into 17 plus 1 18 by 2 that is 9 this is equal to 153 okay now if this sum is less than equal to n is it right or not yes it is relying inside our condition 156 so answer will be now equal to 17 and lower value will be equal to mid plus one that is mid was equal to uh what 
mid was 17 and now the new lower sorry 12 now new lower value will be equal to 12 plus 1 that is 13 okay so as of now this 17 is the answer but the end is not now end is later why because this condition still match right so in the next iteration the new value of mid will be uh, calculated new value of sum will be calculated after that after uh, uh, calculating this sum value will get that the value of new sum is greater than the n value okay if that happens we will decrease the mid value okay we will decrease the mid value mid minus high value as mid minus one so it will be now 21 in the next iteration 20 uh this way it will keep decreasing until and unless this 17 uh like less than equal to 17 or 18 this condition comes okay so this way this 17 will be the answer so let me just run this guys for you so that you can get it okay so so for three the output should be two because we can distribute this to maximum two people right now uh sorry for 156 people uh for balls we can distribute to 17 people max okay so that's the answer guys so i hope you understood now let me just show the answer for python and let me know if you have any queries and any questions okay the same thing we have done here at first we have get uh, got the input from the user then we have initialized the value of low and high as the same and answer is equal to one until unless this uh, matches we will just do the binary search like mid is equal to low plus high by two and total is equal to mid into mid plus one by two if total is less than equal to n answer is equal to mid or uh, also do this low is equal to mid plus one but if this total is greater than the nth value then high will be mid minus one and after that we'll just print the answer just let me show the answer for 56 uh, output should be 17 as you can see it's matched for three the output should be two and as expected so i hope you understood guys that if you have still any queries then let me know in the comment sections i'll try to assist you there and if you still need assistance like a game based aptitude id fundamentals or anything interview preparations all the things are included in the prime materials so please go through that if you still have any uh, problem with the money uh, uh, then also let me know at our inbox instagram.com slash techno.uf i'll try to assist you thank you please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends.